JT, I can't believe this day is finally here. It's been almost six years since our journey began, and I still feel like we're in the honeymoon stage. Dear Gina, ultimately, I won't pretend to understand the love that binds us so deeply. It seems to me to be like a final destination and a great exploration. It's everything I've ever wanted. You're my absolute best friend, and I feel so blessed that after today, I can call you my husband. You are the most beautiful person on the inside and out. I have no idea how I got so lucky. The love that you have for me, it wraps me so warmly, I will be spending my life giving it back in full. I will love you forever. It connects me to you like the ties to the moon. I don't believe a life exists without you. The first time I saw you walking down the staircase at the Clark House, I immediately knew you were someone special. I know in my deepest self, you are simply all the happiness and fulfillment I need. I love you, JT. You are my person, my light, and my life. I love you. Hey, little bug. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. I missed you a lot. It's been way too long. Welcome, everyone. Sorry about the rain. We're making do right now. There are a few dead giveaways that this relationship was built to last. Their first date, grabbing lunch together at a Mexican restaurant, which turned into eight hours of conversation. As John famously writes in his personal diary, the only place to go in life with Gina is up. Each and every day is always a win, no matter the outcome. I know that as long as I love her and she loves me, there is no such thing as failure. Do you, John, take Gina to be your wife, partner in life, and one true love? Do you promise to trust her and honor her? I do. Do you, Gina, take John to be your husband? Do you promise to cherish his friendship and love him today, tomorrow, and forever? I do. Ladies and gentlemen, by the power vested in me by www.universallifechurch.org and by the state of North Carolina, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Gina, you may kiss your husband. I've known for 25 years that this day was going to come. And I can tell you the emotions that a father feels when you first see your daughter is really overwhelming. But Gina's got a special place for me because in 2008, I had a massive heart attack. Gina was the only one at home. And she reacted so quickly and so easily that it truly saved my life. And I can't tell you. Thank you, baby. The first time I met JT, I knew he was the one. It was the way Gina looked at him. I have been friends with Gina since middle school. And I'm really blessed to be able to call her my best friend for the last 13 years of our lives. I've always been the go-to for how to deal with Gina, but JT has actually never needed to come to me. I know that JT is the one for Gina just as much as Gina is the one for JT. I honestly love you both so much and I'm so happy for both of you. So cheers to JT for being Gina's one and for Gina being JT's one. I will say that I have a little picture of my sister, and it was when she was five years old, and it was her first day of school, and she was so proud and so cute, and the reason that I keep this picture with me 
because it gives me a feeling of hope and happiness. And when I see JT and the way that she looks at him, it's the same expression. And I know that she's happy. But when Gina met JT, I just knew he was the one. I saw such a change in Gina. A better version of Gina. And then he met Gina. I mean, she brought out the best in him. I knew from the second that he met her that it was just meant to be. And now I'm